spoke at this conference about two years ago in uh, Maui and gave a talk on laparoscopic management of small bowel obstruction. I, at that time, I promised I'd have follow-up data to our 2012 study. I don't have that data yet. We're still looking at it. I'm still collecting it, actually, uh, as you'll see in the coming slides. The, um, uh, I have a number of cases here that were all actually managed very recently, three of them in one weekend, as a matter of fact. But the um, small bowel obstruction, who needs an operation? That's probably one of the more challenging exercises in surgical judgment that, uh, that I have to deal with and, and that many of you probably do as well. You could probably just as easily ask a question, who doesn't need an operation? But uh, uh, back when I was a resident, <laughs> Uh, I promised our residents that I would never say that again, but it kind of dates me. Never let the sun rise or set on a small bowel obstruction. I, I have no idea where this quote originated. Uh, all of the literature that quotes this uh, doesn't reference it, so I'm not sure who said it. If you know who said it, please see me afterwards so that I can uh, fill in that little bit of data. Case presentation number one. Uh, 40-year-old female uh, previously had a three-stage procedure for ulcerative colitis in 2009. It was performed laparoscopic, had a proctor colectomy, ileal pouch, anal anastomosis, and a uh, subsequent ileostomy closure. The, uh, she developed an incisional hernia at the extraction site which, uh, for which she underwent a repair in 2010. Don't know whether it was open or laparoscopic, couldn't really tell. Still had a very small scar in the periumbilical region. Presented to our institution with 48 hours of constant abdominal pain, obstipation. White blood count was 2,700. Actually, it was falling. It came in. She came in at 3,400. It dropped to 2,700. Tender mid-abdomen, no peritonitis. CAT scan was performed. Um, this is an old ileo, -ileo anastomosis right here. The reading by our radiologist, and there's a little yellow line right here. They draw these pictures for us when they want us to see something. High-grade small bowel obstruction, just distal to a markedly dilated small bowel anastomosis. Now, one of my favorite indoor sports is finding things that the radiologists miss. Um, I keep telling the residents I'm going to come to work with a T-shirt that says amateur radiologist on it. If you look right here, there is some mesenteric edema, which I, you know, we all sort of consider a uh, somewhat worrisome finding in a, a small bowel obstruction. So. Um, how would you manage this patient? Number one, nasogastric suction, hydration, observation, immediate exploratory laparotomy, laparoscopy, lysis of adhesions, convert